an SHO, a simple, anyway, has a mass, this is our M, right? This is the frequency, right? Remember, uh, period is one over frequency, right? Okay, I have 12 hertz and an amplitude, that's our X naught, right? What is its potential energy when X equals 0.12, okay? So let's see, I think what we need, we kind of need our omega, right? Okay, so um, omega is 2 pi divided by the period, right? Okay, and the period's 1 over frequency, so it's going to be 2 pi divided by 1 over frequency. Which isn't that just equal to 2 pi times f? That kind of makes sense, right? So, so if it's, you know, one time a second, then this frequency is 1. If it's twice a second, it's 2 of these, right? Okay, so our omega is 2 pi times 12 hertz. Well, that's going to be 24 pi. Okay radians per second, right? Okay, let's see. What's its potential energy? Okay, so, so, so now we have omega. We're all set, right? So we can do this. Our potential energy is one-half m omega squared x squared, right? Where x is just where it is, right? Okay, we don't even know the amplitude of this thing, right? Oh, no, we do know the amplitude. But we don't need it for this, which is kind of weird. See if we get the right answer. All right, so one half times two point nine three times twenty four pi squared. That's our omega, right? Okay, and then times uh, where is it? It's at point one two. There are harder ways to do this, by the way. Okay, so let's do this. So. Uh, 0 0.5 times 2.93 times the quantity 24 pi squared times 0 0.12 squared. Wow, I feel like we have no business getting the right answer that way, but we did. So our potential energy is 119.928. We only have three sig figs, so I guess we say 120 decimal point joules right and we could do a lot we could figure out the total energy we could figure out the kinetic energy at that point but it doesn't ask that so i'm going to stop um, stop making a video